Good morning, happy Thursday. Welcome to We Are The Church. Friends, the book of Jonah just takes up a few pages in our Old Testament. It's considered one of the prophetic books because it's a story about a prophet who was called to go and speak to a great city, Nineveh. Uh, many scholars think that this actually began as an oral tradition um, before it was written down, that they would sit around the campfires at night and tell the story of Jonah. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Now we know, most of us know, some of the highlights of the story, the story of the great storm, the story of Jonah being swallowed by a, a whale or a big fish and being spit out on the land, the story of Nineveh repenting and Jonah being upset with that. But for my money, the very best verses in the book of Jonah are right at the start. So let me read a couple of verses from the very beginning of the book of Jonah. Now, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Go at once to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah set out to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish, and he paid his fare, and he went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. This is uh, something that always makes me smile just a little bit. The Lord says to go to Nineveh, which is over here, and Jonah runs to the seashore over here and boards a uh, ship for Tarshish, which is way over there, because he wants to get away from the call of God in his life. Anybody sitting around a campfire in the old days and hearing that as the start of a story would sit up immediately and say, oh, this is going to be good. The God of scriptures told a man to go and do a thing, and he went running in the opposite direction as fast as he could. I, I just make I just laugh because I have uh, I have found in my own life I've done that a few times. The Lord says go and do this, and I don't really want to do it, and I try to go in the opposite direction. It never goes well, and maybe you have found yourself saying I, I don't I don't want to uh, do this or that thing that I sense God is calling me to do. Uh, I'm going to try and go go it on my own for a while and see if I can run in the opposite direction. We know in our hearts, just at the beginning of a story like that, that it's not going to go well, but it's good for us to hear how it works itself out over time. We notice that God never stops coming to Jonah. God never stops pursuing him and asking him. Uh, we know that in the end, it's only being faithful to the things of God that can bring peace to our hearts. But that doesn't stop us from trying to work it out on our own from time to time. And so this morning, uh, I, I just want to ask you to consider in your life, what is it that God is calling me to do? And am I being faithful in, in that calling that God has placed upon my life? And also consider this question because it relates. Uh, if I don't really particularly know what God's call in my life is for this season in my life, might it be because I ran away from the Lord before he had to have a chance to tell me what he wants me to do? Because I know a lot of people walk around with their spiritual fingers in their ears because they're afraid of what they know the Lord is going to ask them to do. Uh, we might find ourselves in some pretty precarious situations if we run away from the Lord for too long. Far better to stop, listen, listen carefully, and then Pursue the one thing that can lead to peace in Christ, which is obedience to the will and the word of God. So that's just a few thoughts this morning. Uh, and I just uh, chuckle every time I read. The Lord told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and so he boarded a ship for Tarshish. Those of us who are not implicated in the direct conversation with the Lord always sit up at that moment and go, oh, this is going to be good. So... And if you see somebody who's running in the opposite direction from the Lord, could you gently sit down with them today and just tell them, maybe, maybe try listening to God a little more carefully, and uh, maybe things will go better for you than they're going right now.
I don't know, just some thoughts on a Thursday morning. Have a great day today. Listen carefully for the Lord. And, uh, and remember to do what he asks you to do. Let's pray. We do praise you and thank you, almighty God, that you are a God who continually calls to your church. You call to us as a whole people and you call to us as individuals to do uh, various things, mighty and small and, uh, and insignificant tasks all at the same time. We ask, oh God, that you give to us a spirit of, uh, of gratitude for your call in our lives and that you give to us a spirit of obedience to be careful to do all those things that you ask us to do. And we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, a happy Thursday to you. Make the most of it. Big storms are coming in in the next few days, so uh, make sure you have your umbrella and your raincoat nearby. And in the meantime, remember to wash your hands. Remember to read a psalm. Remember to tell somebody that you love them. I'll see you soon.